Where am I? What's happening? I'm trapped in a storm? How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hope. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Bliss faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as torture. I do love right? my analog camera. And frankly, it's bullshit. I should take a quick picture now. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, I can't though, believe I still I have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. Any one of you could do that to me. My little camera bag is battered, but still Isn't kicking. Too, too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people? I haven't kept up with my journal as much as I should. She had a if anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I should take I a picture to prove I'm still Robin here. Frank. Plus, it's perfect for my portfolio. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was... Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please Tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits. I did know. 
But I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process to give portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, I'm such a photo nerd. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. You seem quiet today. Just thinking too much. I hear that. Wanna go grab a cup of tea and bitch about life? Thanks, but not today. I have to go over homework. No worries. Let's hang later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. Huh, this might make a cool shot. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious.
You can never escape the lighthouse here. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. But I still dig my little instant camera. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just getting you Welcome right. to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. Chance. I'm not paying $150 for Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. What's the point? She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out with a lot of people. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. Yes, this poster must stop bullies dead in their tracks. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Dana is on my floor, too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. That's Dana talking to... I think his name is Justin. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. Uh, 
I wish October would last forever. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry GM tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Good thing I left my AK at home. You can never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the hall. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. Oh, I can hardly wait. Never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. There's Juliet, my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kind of like how gotten. You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. He's cute. I like skating, boy. Too bad they don't like me. The Bigfoot stop. I should develop some school spirit. Go team. Ms. Grant is a great science teacher. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. How many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. There's the lighthouse again. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. 
You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Can I actually reverse time? There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did now, it. Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly captured human the human time machine. Black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't Diane freak Arvis. out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like when totally I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition, and Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation. So I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point Can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me he after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's fate. Now, Max. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. 
even if you're submitting your... I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. E Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars of. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! Wowzer, it's happening again. I need a hammer to break it open. We're going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Tell me what to do. I'm so and to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. 
And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's Just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Miss Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high-security penitentiary. That's crazy. I get why school should be on high alert these days, but cameras in the dorm rooms... It's a slippery slope, and it's up to you and your classmates to stand up here. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely. I don't mind security, but not your surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. Hey, Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. 
especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? Seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. I don't think so. I'm not... Miss Party. That's because you haven't partied with us. Or even Victoria, who's pretty funny when she's baked. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like... you know. So, you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace? I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Brook actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Hi, Brooke. Let me get... Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many... What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now, that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus.
Okay, I better get... ...to my dorm and grab that flash drive. And this is where the otters perform their aquatic magic. Otter power? I'm so not there. They sure get a lot of mileage out of otter power. Oh, that's not nice. Poor little otter. Ew, gross. At least switch to E6. I could go for a burger now. There's Justin and his skater posse. They're so cute doing their tricks. Yo, Justin. Check out the Max. Come to Thrash? Thrash? You mean stage diving or? You're such a poser. If you can't even name a simple nose slide or a tray flip, you should walk on. Yo, Justin. Check out the max. I came to no slide, but I'd love to see somebody do a tree flip. Oh, sick. You're not a poser. Nah, I just can't skate worth shit. Aw, oh, check it. We're gonna destroy some rails for you. What do you want to see? Go for a tree flip. Let's get Trevor all over that action. <laughs> 